Hi, this is Laura from Dr. Avil Plans. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning, thank you so much for checking out another one of my videos. So today I have two unboxings. Now this one I received last week and I was able to sneak peek and in fact set it up because I could not wait a single second longer to set it up. This one I just received about mm, two hours ago and so I am going to do a true unboxing of this one. However, this one though is um, the one like I said that I definitely opened and I moved in fully in here. So if you've been keeping up with me over at Instagram and Dr. Underscore Apple Plans, you did realize that I sold my whole entire VDS Stardust collection which were mostly codexes like codex of an a5 a6 and a b6 okay so let me start in here i'm going to put this one to the side and i'm going to go right in okay so here she is okay so what i have right here in case you're not familiar with vds which is vanderspec the full name is vanderspec vds for short if you're new in the planner community this is something that might be new to you if you are familiar with these planners and you know what i'm talking about this is the janet leather undyed planner so let me take her out she smells absolutely amazing i must say that this is the planner that i feel smells the most like that real pure true leather smell okay so i did purchase this one on pre-loved and i'm happy i did that because i was able to see the patina and i absolutely love the patina in this one so i did not do the original customizations to this because with vds you can customize them however you'd like to i do see that the original owner seems to have squared um, corners here um this seems more of a traditional strap i do not see a gold popper honestly i can be very ocd about certain things but for this beauty i was perfectly fine with all these different customizations um i did set her up like i said but she does have a back pocket that's what i wanted to show you um which is fine with me i normally i'm not so crazy back back pockets because i don't actually use them much but that's fine i love the condition it came in you can see a little bit more patina right here on the strap um but that's fine with me um, to me, she's absolutely perfect. She's gorgeous. I don't know if the camera's capturing her as well as, you know, it would be like in person. So let me open her up right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she does have gold rings and um, these are 30 millimeter rings. I usually do 25 millimeter rings, but honestly, I was not going to fuzz. In fact, lately, um, now nobody knows I've been in this. I mean, this when you see this video is the first time that you that someone will know that i'm in this planner i've been in this planner behind the scenes i'm testing it out and trying to see how i feel about her and i actually been liking the 25 i'm sorry the 30 millimeter rings even though i traditionally go to 25 millimeter rings okay let me just flip here so you don't have to see that glare um so i have here well actually first i do have to show you the pockets i'll just try to cover this here okay i do here uh, see the traditional pockets that come with many of just you know the state whatever um regular i guess you can say customization that would come with this so there isn't anything fancy here that i can tell uh, which is fine with me i'm not too picky about that and in and in here you have two of these side pockets as well um here you have one two three four five six of those little pockets that i decided to just put some stickers in here these are all stickers from papery planning i have my sterling ink little um monthly little deco card my little thank you card actually and a little moon um that i've shown in other videos and then in the back here i put this from kubu and lucy uh, very similar to the moon that I have here. And then I just put these guys here and you do have another back pocket. This is not a pocket, this is just um, part of the stitching there. So the stitching does seem to be undyed as well. It has only one pen loop. I absolutely love everything. Honestly, I, I'm i perfectly fine with all of these um, customization. It is um, a traditional, this is many times you can customize your VDSs to make them a little more narrow. This is not, um, this is would be like their standard size as far as, um you know, the. The, the all the dimensions that you could see here okay so this is the beauty um what i'm doing in here this is my main planner so what i've been doing in here has been just doing quarterly monthly weekly daily a wellness section in my list and that will continue like that moving forward okay because i mostly do use my monthly weekly and daily in here and i've been perfectly fine i really didn't change um much of the deco except just like on the pockets in the front here just added this here and i kind of added these um things in the back here this little deco these little deco um bookmarks and things like that so if you've seen um any of my other videos this the guts are still the same okay so that is the first unboxing of the to you it's an unboxing but to me it's not however the other one will be a true unboxing um one nice thing to note is um if you're looking at height notice that what i'm using here is a tombow so it's like the tombow is a little bit um taller okay just so you can see that there but either way, to me, she's absolutely wonderful. She's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is the first VDS. Um, and the second VDS, I'm going to put this beauty here to the side here. Okay, 
So here is the second one. So it's quite narrow. You can see that it's quite long, tall. So maybe you might have idea, an idea of what this could be. Okay, so you always get your little card. And now I'll, I'll just give you a little backstory of this. This was like a huge coincidence. I had purchased another planner um, from another brand. It was a Jillio. And um, when I received it, I really liked it. But because I knew I was going to get this undyed, I just... Um, I don't know. I just felt like the two planners were going to be too familiar because the other one was a Jillio undyed. And this was a VDS undyed. And I will tell you that this leather is really squishy and really, really soft. And so when I had to pick between this undyed, the VDS undyed and the Jillio, I did prefer the Jillio, I'm sorry, the VDS one. And so I did keep that one, Um, this one here, I mean. And the Jillio one, I found somebody who was willing to do a trade. They had this planner that I'm about to show you and they were, they missed out on the restock that just occurred through Jillio. You have to be really careful with those restocks for Jillio because sometimes you can only catch them like once a year, or maybe two times a year, depending on the demand of the planner and the size and the color of it. So um, let me unveil her. And here she is. Ta -da! So this is um, a newborn, we'll call her. Let me just get all this out of the way here um, because this is also an undyed leather. And this is a codex. This is for weeks. So you can kind of see the different um, colors between the two. This one obviously has patina. This one has not. This is a brand new BDS. I was able to trade in my brand new Jillio that I just recently received, received that I no longer have for this beauty. Okay, so um, when I spoke to the real nice sweet girl that we did the trade with that I, I'm sorry that I did the trade with um, she told me that she put the gold popper which I love. Um, she's got the A4 clasp here. You can see the strap and um the pockets are pretty traditional i would say and of course you can put in here this is for my um hobonichi weeks and so yeah um one pen loop here of course there's no back pocket or anything like that and um i was really happy with it when i saw the pictures i felt that that was exactly what i would want um i have had a Jill, I'm sorry, a VDS undyed and i even had a video on that but unfortunately that one didn't quite work out because well, I do like my planners to be slim. I felt that one was a little bit too slim. And um, also, because it was so slim and it had such a chunky clasp, I just wasn't too crazy about it. Um, I feel that with the weeks, although this has that A4 really chunky um, strap, that because it's so long, like it works pretty well. Um, there's something about it. So um, I'm really happy with this purchase uh, and the trade, I should say, actually. Um, it's got the undyed stitching all over as well. So uh, with this, I mean, you can definitely customize them, but I liked the customizations that were made. I didn't see a single problem. And the best part was that I did not have to wait the 10 plus weeks to receive this because uh, it was just pure luck. I had a planner that um, a sweet friend wanted and uh, she had a planner that I wanted. So it was just a perfect um, trade <laughs> that we made here. Okay, so that is that. Um, so my, my weeks will go in here. And I have recently started showing my weeks again on my, um, on my feed over on Instagram. And I've been always using it in case you're you didn't catch my last video. I mean, this has completely been filled. I just never showed it on Instagram. I've been using this since January consistently. I did my December in the last, um, in my other um, weeks. So that's why December is empty. But the rest is filled up completely. So this beauty will go in here right now. I've been having it in a clear cover with a beautiful um, vellum from Sterling Inc. I will miss this to tell you the truth. Uh, but I cannot wait to go into the undyed. Um, and then I really like this because I had this two kind of pair going on here. And just as a little planner update, I am still in my um, Techo. This is the A6 Techo from Hobonichi. And it's a daily, but I've been using it as just a journal. And I've been journaling every single day. I absolutely love and adore it. You can definitely catch more pictures of this beauty over on Instagram. Uh, again, my handle is Dr. Underscore Alba Plans, and this beauty will come in here. Okay, so let me take her out. I always dread taking her out of the, this cover just because I always love the clear covers with the sterling ink vellum. So I will take this out and put this one in here. Now this one is for, um, this is, I have a standard weeks as you can see, but this is actually for a mega weeks, but I didn't mind it at all. I do own another um, BDS in the Alizan, um, which is another codex for weeks. And um, it's also for Omega Weeks. And it's worked out just fine. So I, I didn't hesitate to pick this up, even though it um, you could see there's a little bit of space. But the nice thing is you could potentially put another 
um, notebook if you wanted to. There's so many nice options out there to put another notebook or as the year goes by, this may get thicker. So I, I just honestly didn't mind. I think this is fine to me. I, I, I'm absolutely in love. I obviously have to figure out all my pockets and how I'm going to um, put the deco in there and everything. But for now, these are the twins. So these are my new twins. I know they're a little different since this one's a little older. This was originally purchased back in August by the original owner. And now here we are. That was August of 2021. And now here we are in, in um, June 2022. And I'm so happy I have her. And I can kind of... Um, kind of look at how this newborn will look like eventually once she reaches the patina that this beauty already has so yeah so there you have it um thank you so much if you stuck around this long and you got to see this little unboxing and um also like a mini little um you know update of what i'm doing and how i'm going to use these beauties thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day or evening and i hope to catch you in the next video let me know what do you think have you tried an undyed planner before are you interested in that they seem to be quite hot at the moment and i know with Jillia when they restocked it they completely sold out within like minutes so i'd definitely be curious to see what you think have um what do you feel about the patina process maybe you own one maybe you would like one and you know you're a little bit scared of it i'm definitely going to enter this um we'll say undyed journey because um it's it's new to me i've never owned an undyed and now not only do i have one but i have two of them so we'll see how it goes i'd love to know what you think about this leather or maybe you know you prefer the Jillio leather i'd love to hear your um feedback on that um, unfortunately for me, I did like the VDS one because it was a little bit more squishy, a little softer, and the smell was unbelievable. But I did enjoy the Jillio while I had it. I think I only had it for a couple days. But now that I have the VDS ones, I'm so, so happy. And it's super soft and smooth. And I really like how it feels to the touch. This is a sensitive leather. So if you ever, if you don't own one or are interested in owning one, you have to be really careful with it. Um, this is at this moment the only plant these two are the only ones that i have in my collection that i have to baby the rest of my planners i do not have to baby so we'll see how it goes but i am willing to join that um journey to see where this is going to go one last thing i wanted to mention is that the original owner did spray this uh with the apple guard and i was able to also spray it as well over the weekend and um nothing happened it was super easy i was scared because i've never sprayed any of my planners and i will i will definitely be doing the same thing with this one i will definitely be spraying this one and so yeah here you have it have a good one thank you for watching